objective of this trial is to evidence both riders' and horses' capacity of tranquilly, precisely, stylishly and regularly perform any obstacles representing difficulties which could be encountered in the field or which could evidence the empathy existing between the horse and rider combination. The term obstacle signifies a difficulty to be surmounted by the rider. Each trial shall comprise a minimum number of 15 obstacles taken from the list below. Although the same obstacle may be performed twice, any repetition should be made in both directions. The course route should be set up in such a manner as to allow the exercises to be performed by riders using their left or right hands to hold the reins. Only obstacles set out on the referent list can be used to avoid surprises at international events with the appearance of difficulties of which only the hosts are aware of. All obstacles are marked by red and white flags, red on the right and white on the left. In order for an obstacle to be successfully performed, a rider must Pass between the two entrance flags trial in the right direction. Perform the technical maneuver required by the referred to obstacle. Exit the obstacle zone by the exit flags. The obstacles are numbered by the respective order in which they are to be performed with the number on the right hand side of the entrance flags. Each obstacle forms part of an approach which must be complied with. Figure 8 between drums. The obstacle consists of two drums placed at the distance of 3 meters away from each other, with the distance being measured from the center of the drums. The horse will approach at a canter between the drums and perform a 3 meter diameter turn around the right hand drum. Upon completing the turn and passing halfway between the drums, it will change hand and begin the circle on the left hand side around the left hand drum. Upon completing the circle on the left hand side, it will pass halfway between the drums. Wooden bridge. The obstacle consists of a bridge comprising planks over which the animal must walk. Slalom between parallel posts. The obstacle consists of a minimum number of seven two meter high posts fixed to an outside base which is not secured to the ground, laid out in two parallel lines with a distance of six meters between the rows. There will be a distance of six meters between the line of four posts, numbers one, three, five, and seven. There will also be a distance of six meters between the line of three posts, numbers two, four, and six. The horse will perform half turns around the posts in the order indicated by the number of each post. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And in the direction indicated by the course map, with changes of hand being performed halfway between the posts. Jumping over bales of straw. The obstacle consists of four bales of cut straw between two uprights supporting a pole. The horse should approach and jump over this obstacle naturally and with assurance. The bales of cut straw may be replaced by a natural substance provided that it does not exceed the bale's height. Pen. This consists of an enclosure with an entrance containing another enclosure which will house animals such as hens, geese, ducks, piglets, etc. The obstacle should be performed by entering in one direction and doing a full turn. Performing the obstacle at the trot will be considered negative. Slalom between posts. The obstacle comprises a minimum number of 5 2 meter wooden or metal posts. The obstacle should be performed by entering at canter. Each change of direction should correspond to a change of hand. The canter should always be in conformity with the turn being performed by the rider. Changes of hand should always be performed halfway between the posts.
drums. The obstacle consists of three drums positioned at the three angles of an equilateral triangle with three meter long sides. The length of the side of the triangle is measured from the center of the drums. The obstacle should be performed as follows. The horse enters at a canter between the drums on the side indicated on the course map. It will round the drum placed to the right or left depending on the course map instructions. And will then proceed to the next drum, performing a change of hand over the imaginary line between both drums and will then round the second drum. It will then approach the last drum and perform a fresh change of hand along the imaginary line between the second and third drums and then perform a full turn around the latter drum, exiting from the same point in which the exercise began. The objective of this obstacle is to evidence ease of handling and the capacity to perform in tight areas while also maintaining the impulsion and tempo of the canter. Gate The gate should be constructed from wood and wire mesh and be closed with an iron hoop. The obstacle should be performed as follows. The horse, cantering up close to the obstacle, makes its final approach at a walk, step by step, and in which the horse's approach shall evidence a high level of confidence and assurance. The horse positions itself at the side of the gate, to the left or right depending on the direction in which it opens. Using his or her right hand, the rider will lift up the iron hoop and open the gate. He or she will walk through the entrance without letting go of the gate. When the horse has fully exited the other side of the gate, the rider may back up one or two steps to close the gate. He or she will then put the iron hoop in place and complete the obstacle. The rider should not let go of the gate during the course of performing the exercise. Bell at end of corridor. The obstacle consists of two crossbars with a length of around 4 meters placed on two supports with a height of around 60 centimeters and secured to the ground at a distance of 120 centimeters from each other forming a corridor. A bell located at the end of the corridor at a height of around 2 meters. The obstacle should be performed as follows. The horse will approach the corridor at a walk and will enter and move forwards towards the end. The rider will then ring the bell by hand then back the horse down the corridor until its four parts have exited the corridor. Earthenware jug. This obstacle consists of a table with an approximate height of 1 meter, with a square table top having a side measurement of around 125 centimeters, upon which a jug filled with liquid water should be placed. The rider should approach the table, take hold of and drink from the jug or raise it above his or her head and then put it back on the table. Backing up in L or rounding several posts or obstacles. Two corridors one and a half meters apart comprising a minimum number of three posts with a minimum height of two meters and minimum distance of three meters apart. The horse must perform a slalom between the posts. Sidestepping lateral work over a log. This obstacle consists of a 4 meter long log pole with a diameter of not more than 10 centimeters and a length of 4 meters positioned between 5 and 10 centimeters above ground level. The horse should approach the obstacle to the right or left as indicated on the course map perpendicularly to the log. The horse must perform the obstacle, which should always remain positioned between its hind and front feet, but never touched. Removal of a pole, goad from a drum. The rider must approach the drum or receptacle containing the pole, at a canter and extract it without the horses reacting in any way. The horse should always advance to the steady canter and should not react or to notice the appearance of the drum or the rider's removal of the pole. Skewering a ring with a pole. The competitor at a canter will skewer the 15 cm diameter rings located on the bases at various heights with the tip of the pole. Good. 
placing a pole goad in a drum. The only difference being that the pole should be placed in the receptacle. The exercise will be considered successfully completed even if the pole touches the bottom of the receptacle and exits. Switching a glass from one tip of a pole goad to another. This obstacle should preferably be performed at speed. The obstacle comprises two 2 meter upright poles, goads 1.2 meters apart, with one of the poles goads having an upturned glass. Riders approach at a walk along an imaginary line uniting the two poles. Stop between the two poles and switch the glass from one pole to another, and then exit at a counter.